I'm Johan Gladson and welcome back to my channel Joe's Learn. Today I will be talking about how to round off numbers to the nearest hundreds and thousands. In my previous video I have talked about how to round off numbers to the nearest tens. If you didn't watch that video I will put the link in the description box so that you can watch. So let's get started. number to the nearest hundreds, we look at the digit in the tens place. So if the digit in the tens place is lesser than 5, then we need to put a 0 in the ones and tens place, leaving the digit in the other places as it is. But if the digit in the tens place is greater than 5 or equal to 5, then we need to put a 0 in the ones and tens place and add 1 to the hundreds place. Now let us understand how to round off a number to the nearest hundreds using some examples. So my first example is 836. So in this example, we need to first look at the digit in the tens place. 3 is in the tens place. So you have to compare it with 5. 3 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a 0 in the 1s and 10 space, leaving the rest of the digits as it is. So 836 rounded off to the nearest hundreds equals 800. Now let's move on to my second example that is 432. So in this example, to again look at the digit in the 10 space, 3 is in the 10 space. So, we have to compare it with 5. 3 is lesser than 5. So, we have to put a 0, the 1s and 10 space, leaving the rest of the digits as it is. So, 432 rounded off to the nearest hundreds equals to 400. Now, let's take a look at this example that is 996. So, we have to first look at the digits in the 10 space. 9 is in the 10th place, so we have to compare it with 5. 9 is greater than 5, so we have to put a 0 in the 1s and 10th place and add 1 to the digit in the 100th place. So 996 rounded off to the nearest 100s equals to 1000. Now let us take a look at this example that is 1824. So first you have to look at the digit in the tens place. 2 is in the tens place. So we have to compare it with 5. 2 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a 0 in the ones and tens place. Leaving the rest of the digits as it is. So 1824 rounded off to its nearest hundreds equals to 1800. Now let us take a look at this example that is 8968. So first you have to look at the digit in the tens place. And so the digit in the tens place in this example is 6. So we have to compare it with 5. 6 is greater than 5. So we have to put a 0, the 1s and 10 space and add 1 to the 100 space. So length plus 1 equals 10. So we have to carry over to the next place that is the 1000 space. So 8 plus 1, 9. So 8968 rounded off to its nearest hundreds equals to 9000. Now let's take a look at this example that is 54,835. So first you have to look at the digit in the tens place. 3. 3 is in the tens place. So we have to compare it with 5. 3 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a 0 in the ones and tens place. Leaving the rest of the digits as it is. So 54,835 rounded off to its nearest hundreds equals to 
54,800. Now let's take a look at this example that is 86,960. So first you have to look at the digit in the tens place. 6 is in the tens place. So you have to compare it with 5. 6 is greater than 5. So we have to put a 0 in the ones and tens place and add 1 to the digit in the hundreds place. The digit in the hundred space is 9. So 9 plus 1, 10. So if you carry over to the next place, that is thousand space. So 6 is in the thousand space. So you add 1 to 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So 86,960 rounded off to the nearest hundreds equals to 87,000. So, in that same way, we can round off a number to its nearest hundreds. Now, let us learn how to round off numbers to the nearest thousands. When we are rounding off a number to the nearest thousands place, we have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. So, when we look at the digit in the hundreds place, if that digit which is in the hundreds place is lesser than 5, that is 1, 2, 3 or 4, we have to put a 0 in the 1s and 10s place and the 100s place. But if the digit in the 100s place is greater than 5 or equal to 5, that is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, then we have to put a 0 in the 1s, 10s and 100s place and add 1 to the 1000s place. So first let us try out with some examples. So my first example is 2862. So first you have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. So in this case 8 is in the hundreds place. So we have to compare it with 5. 8 is greater than 5. So we have to put a 0 in the 1s and 10s place and the hundreds place and add 1 to the digit in the thousands place. So, 2,862 rounded off to the nearest thousands equals to 3,000. Now, let's move on to my second example that is 5,348. So, in this case also, we have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. So, 3 is in the hundreds place. So, we have to compare it with 5. 3 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a zero in the ones, tens and hundreds place and leave the thousands place as it is. So 5348 rounded off to the nearest thousand equals to 5000. Now let us take a look at this example that is 19582. So first you have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. So in this case, 5 is in the hundreds place. So we have to compare it with 5. 5 is equal to 5. So we have to put a 0 in the 1s, 10s and hundreds place and add 1 to the digit in the thousands place. So 9 plus 1, 10. So we have to carry over another 1 to the digit in the 10 thousands place. So 19,582 Rounded off to the nearest thousands equals to 20,000. Now let's move on to this example that is 43,486. So again we have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. So in this example, 4 is in the hundreds place. So we have to compare it with 5. 4 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a 0 the 1s, 10s and 100 space and leave the remaining digits as it is. So 43,486 rounded off to the nearest thousand equals to 43,000. Now let's move on to this example that is 1,9632. So for this example, you have to look at the digit in the 100 space. So 6 is in the hundred space. So we have to compare it with 5. 6 is greater than 5. So we have to put
put a zero in the ones, tens and hundreds place and add one to the digit in the thousands place. So now you press one, ten. So after carrying over another one to the digit in the ten thousands place. So zero plus one equals one. So one lakh. 9,632 rounded off to the nearest thousands equals to 1 lakh 10,000. Now let's move on to my last example that is 4 lakh 82,310. So first you have to look at the digit in the hundreds place. 3 is in the hundreds place. So we have to compare it with 5. 3 is lesser than 5. So we have to put a 0, the 1s, 10s and 100s place and leave the remaining digits as it is. So 4,82,310 rounded off to the nearest thousands equals to 4,82,000. I hope you have understood the concept of how to round off a number to the nearest hundreds and thousands. If you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe now and also enable the bell icon to get notifications on my latest videos. Bye friends!